what is up everybody I hope you're having a wonderful day and a few videos ago I talked about you know really powerful debuffs and for whatever reason I don't know what happened to my brain or if I really thought like you know I made a video a while ago talking about this <clears throat> but I didn't really talk about the two best debuffs and I don't I don't know why yeah, I mean these are the debuffs I probably use the most even though I love poison I probably use these more than poison and uh, we're going to talk about them. So they're, uh, as you can tell probably by the title of the video, they are Fear and Stun. I find Fear and Stun to be more useful to me than any other one. I use them in every battle. It's always there. I always have it. And I want to go about it. So, first one. We're going to talk about Fear. Personally, in my opinion, Fear is the best debuff in the game. The number one, the best, nothing is better. Now you might be like, well, why? Why is that? Why? Why would you say such a horrible thing? Well, see, fear does a couple things. It's it's basically like three debuffs in one to a, to an extent. Uh, you basically have weaken, uh, you have breach, and you have spoil spell, kind of bundled in there, and it's super effective. And there's a reason that out of all the debuffs, a lot of bosses are immune to it because it's so it's so darn strong. And that's why a lot of bosses are immune to it because it just it would it makes the boss irrelevant like all the buffs they give the boss and how they you know make the boss a threat if you put fear on it it just negates all that that's how powerful it is so it's just it's it's so good it's so good and there's another reason why it's so good and it's only limited to a few units you know it's not like anybody can just there's no fear item there's no uh as in a fear item, I mean like a consumable you buy from the shop that you can like apply to an enemy like all like the majority of the other debuffs in the game. It's limited mostly to a Terror Knight. I think it's almost exclusively a Terror Knight. There might be maybe a weapon or so or maybe a unit I'm not thinking of. I mean there's so many units in the game. I You know sometimes I get missed. Lose track, forget what some can do, especially some of the ones I don't have or don't use. But mainly the Terror Knight's how you're gonna how you're gonna inflict fear. And that's... <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, if, if Terra Knight didn't have fear, I probably wouldn't ever run a Terra Knight. When I first experienced fear in the game, it was in chapter 1, towards the end, maybe early chapter 2, and I was baffled. I was like, my guy is doing no damage, he is taking a crap ton of damage, why? And I found out it was fear, and I was like, who did this? And then I was like, that darn Terra Knight, I need that in my party. And at that moment, I knew I was going to use a Terra Knight for the rest of the game. <laughs> but... I did forget to mention fear, and I felt bad, and I don't know why. Maybe sometimes when I wake up in the morning, you know, and it's 8 a.m., and I got to get ready for work, and I got to make a couple videos, I just, my brain's not functioning, you know, I need more ca I need more coffee, I need more caffeine to really get those, get, get thinking and realize what I'm talking about, and for whatever reason, I didn't mention fear or stun, and uh, I would almost say fear and stun are better than those five I mentioned, so... That's fear, and that's why I think it's good. Let me know what you think about it. Please discuss, because I love chatting with you guys. I love reading what you have to say, because a lot of you guys have really good input. And a lot of you really pour your heart and soul into your comments, and I do read that whole comment. I might not reply a whole lot. I might just like it, you know, but I let you know I saw that, and I read it, and a lot of you are very passionate about this game, and it's so great to see. There's something about a community that's very passionate about a game, because I, I feel that passion too, and it's just, it's awesome. I love it. So... Fear's out of the way, now stun. Now why why do I why do I like stun so much? Well, for one, I love the White Knight and Paralysis Blade's insane. And I feel Paralysis Blade is probably one of the best ways to apply stun in the game. But it's also one of the best I mean, it's just such a good skill. And for whatever reason, Paralysis Blade 2 kinda has stun work differently. Now stun is supposed to be if it if it hits a unit, right? If you stun somebody, every turn for the next about three turns they have a 50% chance to lose their turn. Paralysis Blade, I, I don't know if it's a bug, if it's intentional, if the tool tip's wrong, I don't know. But Paralysis Blade seems to guarantee they lose their turn for three turns. They don't even have a 50-50. Or they have like a 90-10 or 95-5. I think maybe once or twice I saw Paralysis Blade not lose all, all their turns consecutively or until they died and they only get like one or two turns and I... I they get like one or two turns and I mop them up anyway. But I feel Paralysis Blade has a way higher chance of them not getting their turn. And like I said, stun... Stun is just... 
it it immediately makes units 50% less effective. You know, immediately a unit loses 50% of its value. And it's it's for free. And, you know, I don't have this item yet. There's a couple items that are really good with stun. And uh, and um, there's the boots. I forget what they're called. But uh, it allows you to stun as well. So that even makes, you know, we got more white knights in here, you know. So I forget the name of the boots. You guys don't have to remind me. But I know there's a pair of boots that gives you stun. And, um... I'm pretty sure there's a pair of boots. You know what? I actually might be wrong. Don't take take that with a grain of salt. You know, I, I haven't got a lot of the in-game gear yet. As you can see, I'm in Palace of the Dead. You know, I've been slowly grinding away. Not getting as far as I want. I haven't been having as much time. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get the switch on, you know, and get, get going and try to get further. I need to get to level 25 so I can get my summon spells and all that. But, anyway, enough about me. This video is about fear and stun and how great they are. And I mean, let me know why you don't use fear and stun. Are you guys like anti-fear stun? Do you think they're not that great? Let me know. Let me know if there's like what what other debuffs conditions are better than fear and stun. I think they're like the best two. But like I said, I have a lot of experience with them and I use them a lot. And I just think they are solid skills, solid debuffs that do a lot, especially fear. I think fear is fear is borderline like overpowered. It's so strong. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. All the love and support you guys show me. I know the videos haven't been doing as good. You know, so it's kind of sad. But, you know, Tactics Ogre, the hype for the game is kind of going away. Because it's been out, you know, we're going on four months. Other games come out, people move on. I do plan to cover other games in the future. You know, Tactics Ogre will still try to be a main part of the channel. Um, so don't worry about that if you do enjoy it. After making well over 120 videos on Tactics Ogre... It is, it does get a little bit hard to come up with content because no new content comes out, no updates happen, it's only a single player game. So I do apologize if some of my videos may seem similar or identical in some way to older videos, just more updated information possibly or a new take on something, but it does get a little hard. But do, if you do enjoy strategy RPGs, JRPGs, RPGs, my channel will cover a lot of those tactical strategy games, all that kind of stuff. So do look forward to seeing some of those. Maybe you'll discover a new game you never heard of. But like I said, for everybody that's been here, those of you that have been here since Tactics Ogre back in November, I appreciate it. I really do. Sometimes I can't tell you enough, just you watching the video. And I mean, if you like it and you subscribe, it's even better. But I don't really ask for that, as you can tell in most of my videos. I'm not like, make sure you like and subscribe. You know, I don't, I don't do that because if you really like my content, you're going to do that. You know, I don't need to remind you. You're not some some child that can't think for themselves you know so anyway enough rambling thank you guys if you made it to the end of the video if you made it this far i appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in the next one until then later guys peace oh hey nobody nobody fell off a cliff that's a win let's go